Well, hello there. My name is Franklin Delano Roswell. I was born on January 30th, 1882, and I died on April 12th, 1945. I was the 32nd President of the United States. I served throughout the Great Depression and the Second World War. I was elected President during the height of the Great Depression in 1932, and I remained President until my death in 1945. During my period of presidency, I oversaw an expansion of the federal government and helped America lose its isolationist stance as it joined World War II and I helped formulate the United Nations. I was an influential figure in both American and world politics. I came from a privileged background but was influenced by my headmaster at Groton School in Massachusetts who inculcated the importance of Christian beauty in helping less fortunate people. I married a distant cousin Eleanor in 1905. We had six children uh, in quick succession, two of them who went on to be elected to the House of Representatives. When I was elected president in 1930, America was facing an unprecedented economic crisis. Unemployment was reaching 25%. Furthermore, govern government unemployment relief was very limited at the time. I was keen for America to become a good citizen of the world and fight for certain freedoms. However, in the early 1940s, America still remained a very strong isolationist approach and I campaigned for re-election promising to stay out of the World War II despite my own dislike of Nazi Germany. The bombing of Pearl Harbor in December 1941 completely changed the outlook of America. I wasted no time in declaring war against Japan and then Germany as well. I was an astute commander-in-chief. In particular, I was able to identify generals with genuine talent and I promoted them to key roles. As I once said myself, I'm not the smartest fellow in the world, but I can sure pick some smart colleagues. I promoted Dwight Eisenhower and George Marshall both to play key, key roles during the Second World War. I had a close relationship with Winston Churchill. There was a strong mutual admiration. At one point I said, it's fun being in the same decade as you. Together with Churchill and Stalin, we also, known as the Big Three, helped lay the foundations for the post-war period, which included the setting up of the United Nations, a successor to the League of Nations. Also, I remember some lines I said in my past something like these the only thing we have to fear is fear itself and in these days of difficulty we americans everywhere must and shall choose the path of social justice the path of faith the path of hope the path of love toward our fellow man i died unexpectedly from a massive brain hemorrhage in april 1945 just before the first meeting of the united Sh nations my death stunned the world and I was remembered as a champion of freedom and a man of humanity and optimism. Thank you.